Hey Galaxy of Heroes fans, this is Gerbil here with another Ewok video, this time taking on Bounty Hunters. Now, honestly, Ewoks versus Bounty Hunters is one of the easiest matchup for these little murder bears. Now, a lot of people trash Ewoks, and maybe it's deserved, I really don't know. They are my favorite faction in Star Wars, have been since I was a very young child. Now, in this matchup, <laughs> this Ewok squad is greatly outclassed. Every single Bounty Hunter is gear 13, and on my side, uh, only Han Solo is gear 13, the other four Ewoks are not, they're gear 12. Now, with that said, all of the Bounty Hunters also have relics. So, you know, Bounty Hunters is a meta team, they are pretty easy to farm, but they're a staple, and everybody loves them. And they are super awesome, they really are, they have a lot of great places. But when you have, uh, when you come across one in Arena, it doesn't really matter how good that squad is, Ewoks with Han Solo and even without Han Solo, but definitely easier with Han Solo, they're gonna walk right over those bounty hunters. On offense, Ewoks are an amazingly powerful team and I think probably the most underrated offensive team in the game. Now, on defense, it's a whole different story. You really don't wanna be using your Ewoks on defense unless you have to. If you do, put in, Chir uh, sorry, Tebow as your lead, not Chirpa. Tebow is a much better lead there. Uh, but the, the problem is there's a lot of teams that can handedly defeat Ewoks. Um, Jedi Knight, Revan, obviously, but people aren't going to want to waste a Revan against an Ewok, so they just throw in a single Infus Nest. And if you don't have a log rate, you lose. Anyway, though, here's another example, and we got rid of Han Solo just to really prove my point here. Um, this, this Bounty Hunter squad is, again, much higher in galactic power, more Zetas. Um, it's a much harder team to, to farm overall, and let's just sit back and watch the action. Now, uh, Bosk, everyone loves him because his, his ability to regenerate and his perpetual taunt, but the taunt just goes away with C-3PO putting those confuse on him, and then, yeah, sure, he's regenerating. He, he's regenerating a lot. I mean, like, you, you come into this match right here, minute 40 seconds, 20 seconds in, and you think, oh, these, these Ewoks are going down. But all of a sudden, look at that reversal. Um, it doesn't take much, and then these Ewoks just totally outpace the Bounty Hunters. They don't hit as hard, but they hit a lot more often, with a lot of synergy, a lot of assists. And then, of course, C-3PO there, who just takes Bosk out of the equation. He's, he's no good against Ewoks. Now, my preferred lineup is what you see here. Chief Chirpa, Wicked, Ewok Elder, Pablo. Uh, he, Pablo is essential, actually, here, because he takes that taunt away from Bosk. Uh, even if Bosk gets the taunt with C-3PO, you know, confusing him, Pablo takes it right away. Uh, I tend to keep that lineup against, against Bounty Hunters, it, it doesn't really matter if they have Django leading or for some other reason they have somebody else. I mean, you really only see Bosk or Django lead. Um, but the, the game plan is pretty simple. Open up no matter what. Uh, C-3PO is almost always going to go first, him or Popolo, depending on your speeds. But open up with C-3PO confusing Bosk. That just stops him from taunting. And then target the weakest bounty hunter. Now, a lot of people will say, no, you need to go after Django or Boba Fett because they're, they're so powerful, blah, blah, blah. No, just take one of them out of the equation. Simplify the equation here, right? It's like basic math. You get rid of all the, <laughs> the constants as much as you can um, and just simplify this, right? So in this case, I got rid of Guido. He doesn't have a lot of health, so goodbye. And then I wasn't even really paying attention. It, it, it just doesn't matter. Um, do I lose on offense against bounty hunters? Yes, it certainly can happen. Um, but it is it is not the norm. I would say Ewoks with C-3PO support under Chief Chirpa lead, they're gonna be bounty hunters if you are evenly matched in terms of uh, galactic power. Um, you're gonna beat them probably 85-90% of the time if you know what you're doing. Now, a lot of people, again, they don't like Ewoks because they don't really read their kits. They don't understand what it is that's going to make the Ewoks really effective. Like, take take Chief Turbo. His basic says, and people miss it all the time, that when he deals damage, when he uses his basic on an enemy, if the enemy had 50% or more turn meter, he's going to gain 35% turn meter. Now, it also says that 
when it, as his lead, whenever an Ewok uses their basic attack, they gain 20% turn meter. So if he attacks with his basic and hits a guy with 50% turn meter more, he immediately goes back, resets the 55% turn meter. Now then, Poplo calls an assist, C-3PO calls assist, Wicked calls an assist. With those three, you can consistently call him in, making Chirpa just gain so much turn meter. It's insane. He can just go over and over and over again. And then, of course, with C-3PO giving him stacks of Translate, it's resetting his cooldowns. So he can sit back and just keep giving the entire team uh, retribution, or he can uh, heal the team, or he can do the tribal tactic, whatever it is called, where he calls the entire team to assist, which, of course, it includes his own basic. Thus, another 55% turn meter potential. So anyway, sit back, watch, and enjoy as you see Ewoks devastate Bounty Hunters. <laughs>